Hello, my name is Jason Drew, and today I'm going to take you through a real quick demo on how to set up a personal access token and secret scope setup within Databricks. Now, this is uh, oriented towards Azure, but this would be very similar in other uh, cloud uh, workspaces as well. So the first thing we want to do is set up a PAT or personal access token. And the way that you do that is from kind of the, the main landing page of your workspace. You'll go ahead and click in the upper right hand corner and you will select settings. And then from settings, you're going to go under user and developer. And then you're going to click on manage access tokens. So this is where you're able to create a new access token by, by clicking on the generate new token. Um, you can give it a name and a life uh, time. It is a matter of, matter of days. If you keep it zero, it'll be infinite that this token will be good for. And when you generate that, um, these random uh, string of characters will, will be generated as your access token. You can go ahead and copy that. Now, to avoid having to uh, basically put that token in plain text within your notebooks, we basically will set up a secret scope. And to do that in Azure, we're going to be using Key Vault. So in Key Vault, I'm going to basically go to secrets and I'm going to generate a new secret. I'm going to call this test token and paste my secret value in there and then click create. Now, in order to let Databricks access that secret from that, uh, that Key Vault, we need to set up a, uh, a scope. So the way that you do that is, again, from the main landing page, go ahead and append dollar sign secrets slash create scope at the end of that URL, and it'll take you to this window where you can create a secret scope. You'll give it a name, and you want to give it the DNS name of your key vault as well as the resource ID and these two values. And the way that you get that is you go into your key vault properties. The vault URL is the basically the domain, and the resource ID, of course, is the resource ID. And once you enter those in and, and uh, hit OK, you now will have the ability to access those scopes and those secrets within those scopes via DB utils so that you don't have to expose your personal access token in plain text. Hope that you found that helpful. Uh, thank you for your time.